Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live for the second time today. We are up in Holland, Michigan, and uh, we got a nice load of cherry here. We're going to be putting, stacking into this rack here. We're going to put some into here. This is this is their smoker, industrial size stainless steel smoker they have here. So we're going to put some in there, and we're going to put... Like it will fill this rack up and if uh, if we fill all that up, then we stack along here But uh, the last time I was here was in February. I'm surprised they made it this long So Billy Otis say hi Billy Otis, hi, Billy Otis. Got Mike here. We got this nice load that we just split so I'm gonna put you on the tripod And so I can help him out and we're gonna get to uh, Stack in here. We had to bring the saws up because we're gonna go cut some uh, cherry to replace this cherry so let me put you on the tripod and I'll get over there and help him. All right, this guy got real loose. I gotta, I gotta tighten this down. But yeah, we'll have to get that cover off there, Mike, before you, you know, put put it on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, for the perimeter. All right, I'm coming, Mike. I'm coming. I'm grab my gloves. Oh, see, it's uh, it's like strapped on down here. So yeah, it took us oh, about a half hour to split this, and then it was about an hour drive up here. Just under an hour. We made pretty good time, right Mike? Yeah. yeah. Didn't get caught behind any tractors or anything. You know, we're we're just south of Holland, like Lake Mekatau is right over there, which is a this is a big tour, tourist town in the summer. So they've been going through more wood lately. Yeah, they only got a few pieces left in here. So, yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike uh, sent me a message this morning, and I was like, oh, you better not be calling in. No, I, I was like, I was like, because, uh, you know, we can't do that to these corporate customers. No, They're buying a lot of wood from me. No, yeah, it was raining. It was raining pretty hard at Mike's house. At, he messaged me at like 6.15 a.m. And it was uh, it was raining pretty hard there, but uh, it was just finishing up at my house. By the time he got to my house, it w had stopped raining. We got a little bit of ra uh, rain coming off the trees. How many clouds do you see in the sky right now, Mike? N not one cloud in the sky. And we're we're kind of near Lake Michigan. We're near Lake Michigan, and where the water temperature is a little bit cooler probably in the 60s and so it got a cool breeze coming off the lake keep us cool we got a nice load of cherry in here though if you missed the live stream this morning you'll have to check out the replay I filled up that thing before but I think they like taking charcoal and other things in there so I'm only gonna put it like two-thirds full so they have a storage room in there for other things when my brother and I came in February the weather was a little bit different we were had to, there was like a it, ice here and we had to worry about falling down it was like a skating rink don't have to worry about that today and this is the first of two deliveries for Mike and I today we got now we, we got to go uh, go cut a load of cherry to replace this then 
we gotta go pick up a load of ash from Phil. And then we gotta uh, load up with Hickory and go up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a little bit closer than this. But I thought we got here pretty quick, Mike. I did too. It went, you know, it wasn't bad. It's a long drive. Yep. Where's Zach when you need him? He's a good stacker. He could help us. Yeah, it's tight fit in that single, that cab. Many people we got watching now, I'll just come ch check on you, make sure it's still coming through. Yep, got 22 watching. Get that thumbs up, folks. Don't forget about the thumbs up. We just split this, but it's really dry. Nate and John brought it to me in the fall, and it was dry then. Yeah, they usually go through Joe cord like this about once every, uh, it's usually every two months, but when we deliver, when we deliver to them in February, that rack was full, that was full, and the side rack was full. So when we showed up here, there was about 10 pieces left in that, in the, in their, uh, the rack, or on the, uh, the trailer there for their, their, uh, smoker. I wouldn't go too much higher than that because we got to put the cover over it. That's probably good for there. Going. Oh. <coughs> yeah, I'd start putting them over there now. Or help me finish this up. And then we'll walk them over there. Normally I get food from them. They got really, really good food here. But they don't open until uh, like 2 o'clock. So like uh, just after 10 now and uh, I give them like a $35 discount so they're gonna have to pay me full price today it's 275 I gotta give Mike a hundred dollars for splitting and help and splitting and help me deliver and stack it this truck don't run on water
Yeah, we'd make some. Mike would be making real good money if this ran on water. They've been buying from me, I think, since 2019. I've had uh, Darren help me deliver here, my brother, and now Mike. I don't think I don't think I've had Jeff help me come up here yet. Oh wait, Nate's helped me up here too. Yeah, I do like your food, but we're gonna we're gonna get food at the next restaurant we deliver to. And they do the unloading and stacking. So all we gotta do is park it, go inside, sit in the air conditioner takes them about a half hour or 45 minutes to unload it while we have lunch. Mike's ready for that. This is how I like to do it though folks. Split the rounds right into the truck and then take it to the customer. Not have to stack it and then load it again later. Got the rack full. I'll throw them over for you. So hopefully he mails me my check right away. This is the first delivery this week. There's a guy supposed to come pick up a cord for 400 tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, the guy I talked to on the phone. You guys see that phone video I put out last night? The phone video? He's, he's going to buy it from me. You just watch on Facebook then, Mike? Yeah. You know, people always say, oh, get a dump trailer. What, so we can dump it on the ground and have to pick it up off the ground? Is this easier, Mike? <laughs> you too.
I'm gonna have to go to the other side. And you can kind of see where we're putting it. Somebody just said something. Oh, Jason. Uh, Jake Kellogg. Say hi to Jake, Mike. Hi, Jake. <laughs> yeah, it was good. A good exercise, says Jim. Yep. The real exercise is what's going to happen next when we uh, when we go cut the wood, or Mike cuts and I load. I think loading's probably the harder harder of the two. Yeah, this won't be a very li long live stream. Probably overheat anyway. It's sitting there on the black asphalt in the sun. And I gotta, I gotta. I'm gonna take some pictures of the the wood, so he can hopefully get a check out to me today. Probably won't get it till next week though. I don't know why they did that. They pulled off the road and back on. Thought they were turning around or something. Yeah, I love. I love. They got great wings here. The barbecue sauce is really good, and then they have these, uh, uh, was it pickled uh, celery? That's really good. And they usually hook me up with a ton of food. But if we want food, uh, we have to come after 2 o'clock. And, and, and just think of how hot that would have been if we would have did that on, you know, we could have did it Monday. Right, don't forget the saws, Mike. So we gotta go do some cutting. I don't think we have a signal there, so I can't go live there. But uh, that's the delivery. Got it all out of his truck. So. Got the saws back in there. I got to put the tripod back in. But here's what we got. This is what was all in his truck. All that right there. All this rack of dry cherry. And then I put some in here in their uh, smoker. The smoker trailer. All but about maybe a dozen pieces came out of the truck. So there's a decent load. See the truck's Truck's empty and ready to go. So, we're gonna hop back in. We're gonna head over to Lake Allegan. We're gonna cut a load of uh, cherry rounds of that stuff that we cut a couple weeks ago. I'll probably just make a regular video there. And I'm not sure when I'll post it, but that's what we're gonna do. So, Mike's gonna help me cover that wood up. And uh, we're gonna hit the road. So, thanks everybody who made it to the end. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Say bye, Mike. Bye.